Greetings friends, Jawless Paul here again. We're playing Dredge. And uh, if you watched the last episode, we, we experimented with some things and we found one of the endings. Uh, the goal for today is to find uh, the, the quote-unquote good ending. Uh, I think that uh, we have some clues as to how to find that. I don't exactly know how, but uh, hopefully we'll figure that out right now. Let's go. Okay. Let's load this one. And if I recall, we had talked to... <coughs> excuse me. Talked to the mayor, and he actually said that we should talk to the lighthouse keeper. So let's do that. What do you know about the silver and crimson book? She shudders at the very mention of the book. Mm. You're really asking me? After all this time, you know it must be returned. She looks at you with deep pity. You have to move on for her sake as well as yours. Take control. Be rid of that thing once and for all. Okay. Is it? What do you know about the old mayor of Little Marrow? That's... He's... I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory for us all. Some nights I still think I can hear the hum of his engine sailing past the bay. But I know he's gone, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay. Well... Uh... What's in our hold right now? Not much. Just the things we need to fish. Okay, we have a, a large um, scrap of paper. I wonder, can we look at the map and kind of see where that is on the map? If we pull up the map here, can we do that? All right, um, <laughs> take that off the, take that off. Okay, but what is it, what does it look like? Oh, it's in the storage. So it's a tiny little island off of a, uh, Looks like a bone. <laughs> An elbow with the bone, you know, with the bone on the end. Uh, is north the long one, or is, um, you know, we have the, the little rosette or whatever. Maybe that's in the wrong orientation. Uh, looks like a fish. Where do you suppose? Where do you suppose that is? Are there some islands that we didn't notice before? Or maybe it's it's in here. Possibly. Did we ever go over here? I don't feel like we ever did. Why wouldn't we have done that? We should have done that. Uh Shucks, man. Blackstone Isle. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of these little islands. I don't think that we really looked at them much. <laughs> okay, let's let's do something. Let's go talk to our friend at the Blackstone Isle. And uh, that's up there. This and see if we can convince him not to uh, not to, you know. <laughs> Tell me more about that book of yours. Which book? This one here. With a wry grin, he pulls a dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to be said of histories of the Grey Isles. It's quite a chore. Don't play.
play dumb, you know which book I mean. Play dumb, your hypocrisy is wearying. I suppose we must go through this rigmarole yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hands, sheathed in its dirty crimson jacket. Hmm. Go ahead, ask us. Where did you get it? Sparkling dust motes hang in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there. The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically like a quickening heartbeat. So was she. <sighs> you wanted to forget, begged me. The room bristles. This is what you asked for. Give me the book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. Step closer. You take a step closer through the crackling room. The collector lurches forwards in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? Take the book. You strike out with your right fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. What? 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 Oh, dude. You're pathetic. The book of the deep is in your hands. Understand this plainly before you sink us into despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there in the pages, and now you've seen its power firsthand. <laughs> we wield the power to release her from her slumber. Find her last relic, and we can undo everything. Undo what you did. Okay, so we... Go inside. Well, but we should be able to get the, the key now. That's crazy. That's good stuff. Okay. So now we have the book in our inventory. Didn't we grab it? We have it. Right? I'm... I'm uh, perplexed. <laughs> I'm perplexed now. So... Thing I'll be going. So we have it. We have it in our hand. Okay. So maybe we take it to the lighthouse keeper again. See what she says about it. So that's that's a great twist. I love it. You've had it this whole time, have you not? It doesn't matter. Make the most of this window of lucidity. Now is the time to act. Do you still remember where it happened? In that gloomy darkness behind the bay? When you are ready, I'll point the way. I'm ready. Okay. Final phase of the game. Your progress will not be saved from this point on. Yes. Yes. You must wait until night is thickest, until the ocean is as it was all those years ago. Nice. It's time I'll point the way. Follow my light. Mm. Go and do what's right for her. Throw it back. so nervous at night, you know? You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. <laughs> I get so nervous about the things in the water. Oh, she lights the way with the thing. <sighs> since, since I... I did the thing where I went out of the uh, boundaries of the of the water and, and met the uh, the big fish. Man, I get I'm much more. Uh, my heart's kind of racing right now. 
I know, uh, some of you know I, I have thalassophobia, which basically means I'm scared of the deep. This is the place. Throw it back. The book struggles in your grasp, its weight somehow shifting from side to side. Silver ribbons flail pathetically against your fingers. Throw it back! You hold it high above your head, a low groan rumbles from the book, echoed by another from the depths. Throw it back. You throw it into the foaming water. Sated. Ooh. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> that's the, uh, that's the good ending, huh? Wow, okay. I guess that's what we get for being... <laughs> awesome, okay. Well, do we get a... What, what does the world look like? Oh, and look, it's so peaceful. We saved the world. We, we sacrificed ourselves, but we saved the world. That's great. I love that those are the voice actors. They had, like... They went like, huh, and hmm, and huh? <laughs> what a fun, what a fun job that would have been. Seriously, I'm not even joking right now. I'd love to be a voice actor. Even if it was just to groan and, and whatnot. Um, I don't believe anything happened the last time we did that. I'm going to skip. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is explore some of these little islands and we'll do it we'll do it kind of quick but uh yeah so it's terrifying knowing that those big that big fish is is just out there <laughs> I, I don't even know i don't know you know earlier in the game we met that we met that ship that um we met that ship that said that there was a giant a giant fish that was like hunting it or whatever and that was terrifying um i'm i'm uh, nervous about running into that it's really it really does cause me some some uh, pretty severe anxiety <laughs> as i do this um okay so this is this is a new this is a new area we haven't really explored this at all well there's a dock there's so much to explore in this game, and I, you know, we found the we found the two endings, but there's clearly more more to it, right? Campsite. Next to the dock is a derelict campsite. Strange symbols are scratched into the sand. What do you want to do? Search the campsite. An extremely rough and worn sheet of fabric has collapsed at the base of some wooden supports. There's nothing remarkable about it. What do you want to do? Inspect the symbols in the sand. The symbols span the breadth of the camp, twisting this way and that. Some are grouped together in what must be words. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. This last symbol trails off hurriedly and looks unfinished. Inspect the last symbol more closely. Glint of metal shines through the sand. Ooh. Yes, please. Take it for yourself. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. The last symbol trails off hurriedly and it looks unfinished. Inspect the footprints. Whoever left the footprints was barefoot. The prints are large and wide, perhaps indicating they were left by a man, but you don't know much about footprints. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. Uh, okay. I don't know much about footprints. Okay, so... Uh, we've done everything there? I guess. <laughs> It's it's hard to know if we've really done everything that we can there. The game doesn't uh, doesn't really hold your hand in terms of um, letting you know what what can be done or what needs to be done. Oh, what's this? Oh, the cultists, right? You approach a hooded figure, dirty gold robes obscure all features except for a pair of withered and blackened hands. Fishermen, deep calls respond. 
Their voice gurgles with the sound of fluid in their lungs. An answer. The hooded figure holds out a scroll. They tap at a shape depicting the red snapper. Where do we find... Where do we find the red snapper? It's coastal. Okay, we'll have to look in our in our book. Red snapper. I know we caught one. We should try to find it. There it is, there it is. Coastal, okay, stellar, stellar basin. That's kind of what I thought. All right, we'll go catch a couple of those and we'll come back. Okay, let's uh, mark the map. It's like a, a quest marker, yeah. We should do it there though. That one can be removed. Okay, and stellar basin is Over here. I feel like I'm hearing weird uh, sound effects, but maybe that's just my imagination. Okay, those look red, but is that. Are these a. Uh, Hadal fish? Oh, that's. No. That's. Those, uh. Jawfish. Loose jaws or whatever. Alright. Uh, it's nighttime now, so. Find the dock. Pretty sure the red snapper um, is a daytime fish. If I remember correctly, we, uh, they're pretty plentiful, easy to find. Like, we don't need to, we don't need to use the, is this the red snapper right here? I don't think so, but, coral grouper, nope. I wonder if I shouldn't be using, uh, okay. It's not around here. Is this? No, this is the sturgeon. Where is the red snapper? Is it outside? Did I read that right? Is it, is it, uh... Yeah, still at a basin. Wait a minute. Okay. I just want to make sure. Okay, it is showing me. It is showing me that. Gotcha. I was like... <laughs> it looks like it's highlighted, but it also it also kind of looks like there's something else. Anyway, we're we're good. But my confusion uh, is is sorted. Oh, okay, we've not caught one of these yet. I want to catch one of these. Yeah, check out that big boy. There was a a big boy. Okay. Ooh, is this red snapper? This could be red snapper. friend. I think we want to just go straight. Straight there. Can't exactly go. I don't want to go through the middle, obviously, because of the giant monster. We've not explored this wreck. We should dredge this real quick, you know. 
Might as well. Well, maybe... <laughs> if it's just gonna be a regular dredge goods, uh, we don't need to worry about that. Okay, this is gonna have an aberrant. There's one. Small and feeble mind easily conquered, now brought screaming from the depths. It lies powerless. Creepers. Okay. Well, I guess we shouldn't have done that, because now it's nighttime and. Ay, ay, ay. Wait, is that the. Uh, that's where the dock is, isn't it? Very, very frightening. Okay. Turn in, turn in this fish to our new friends with the black hands. <laughs> the blackened, blackened hands seem like reasonable fellows. figure holds out a scroll. They tap at a shape depicted. It looks like a red snapper. Well, we have, we just happen to have a stale red snapper for you. They rip through the throat of the fish and tear out its heart. It's in their mouth before you have time to protest. Pro process what you just saw. Another of the sacrifice. They point at another shape of the scroll. This one looks like a fang tooth. We got one. Oh, we already got one. They bring this small fish up to their mouth and bite at where the heart is. Their cracked lips part to reveal a roll of sharpened teeth. Sense an opening. They unfurl the final scroll. This one looks like a blue crab. Okay. Alright, let's see. Do we know where the blue crab is? I don't think we do. going to be in the cellar basin. Okay, yeah, we didn't really do, we didn't really do any, any fishing with, uh, crab pots, and we definitely should. We definitely should. So let's go do that. storage here? Maybe not. Ah, we can't. Okay. Alright. How far to our storage? Starlight Pontine is probably the closest. some crab pots and then we'll do something else for a bit and then we'll come back. Okay, it's an aberrant fish here. We probably should take advantage of that. Barracuda. It thrashes about ruinously, jaws snapping and tearing at its own flesh apart, a body sundered by ravenous hatred. Mm. Hatred of the most ravenous sort. My storage. 
Let's sell these fish. Nice. And let's grab our... Wait a minute. Where are our crab pots? Oh, no. We left the crab pots in the twisted stream. Ah. So we'll just buy some. Hopefully... So it must be in the fish market. Oh. I can buy the fish pot. There we go. Efficient crab pot. That's what I like to see. Let's buy one of the regular ones too. Okay. Crab pot time. trees the shadow like appeared seemingly out of nowhere and it really scared me <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a very sensitive sort of fellow should have you might have known this about me okay we're gonna we're gonna sleep through the night here and hopefully the crab pots have something for us when we wake up in the morning that's so cool looking, the, the glowing coral. I like it. All right. Blue, a blue crab, please. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the blue crab, okay. Let's sell the other fish while we are here. We should have done this in the... Mm. find that one this will be great so many there's so many mysteries and secrets to explore sense an opening and for the final scroll got her. we got a blue crab they crack and bend the crabs leg apart legs apart and feast on the flesh inside lips still covered in crab flesh they take a book from inside the robe and hand it to you a book Answer given, we await summons. They cross their arms and appear to fall into a deep sleep. Okay. Oh, nice. We got, we got some, we got a fishing book. Well, how nice. Okay. So the question is like, is it worth, is it worth it to explore the rest of these zones? I mean, we could, we could check out over here. Just, just kind of for funsies. Why not just go check it out for funsies? We'll do this, and then I think, yeah, we'll we'll probably probably end up signing off. I do I do want to catch all the fish. You know, it's uh, it's one of those gotta catch them all situations. I would like to do that. However, is that a dog bark? 
A doubloon. Curious looking chest is half submerged in the sand. Look inside. Oh, there's another piece of the map. Okay, so there's some finding these little finding these little these little things that, that's rewarding, you know, it feels good. It feels good to find little curiosities and such. It's a creepy boat, but maybe we should check it out. That's not a boat. Oh, it's an anglerfish. Oh, no. Oh, no way. Ah, it looks like a boat, though. Who's trying to look like a boat? Oh, and here's a... Uh, a pirate ship? <laughs> Let's just keep exploring these crazy things. Why the heck not? creepy so those boats are angler fish that's so cool why didn't I uh, why didn't I try to uh, figure that out earlier I guess I was just not not brave enough <laughs> not brave enough to figure it out okay Okay, let's look at our storage. Can we? Is this the last piece? It is. But where, where is that? Is it supposed to do something when we figure it out? Is it supposed to look like that? Will they, will they tell me if I figure it out? In another corner, a line's been drawn. It's like uh, none of these, none of these islands really look like that. But well, I think <laughs> I think in spite of uh, that mystery eluding us, I think we're gonna call it here. Uh, but thanks so much for coming and watching. And if you enjoyed this series, you know maybe let me know in the comments. But uh, yeah, this this game is fantastic, and I highly highly recommend it to anyone who wants an awesome, uh, creepy, Lovecraftian uh, uh, exploration game. It's super super fun. All right, we'll catch you guys later. Take it easy.